Hello everyone and welcome to Computer Tech TV. Today I'll be taking a look at a SickleFlow 120 case fan. The SickleFlow 120 series of case fans comes in several different colors. Today I'll be looking at the blue LED model. Having a look at the outside of the package, it's nothing too fancy. It does give the specifications as well as a look at the fan. So if you are purchasing this fan in a store, you should get a good idea on what you're looking at. Looking at the back here, you can see we have all of our features and specifications. It's a 2000 RPM fan, 120 millimeters by 120 millimeters by 25 millimeters thick. Fifty thousand hours on the lifespan is really good for a fan. So now what I'm going to do is open this up. I'll give you guys a closer look and then I'll hook it up and show you guys what it looks like lit up as well as what it sounds like at 12 volts. Looking at the case fan itself it has a gloss black plastic frame with nine curved clear smoked black fan blades the Cooler Master logo that they put on all their fans here in the middle. See here we have a decent length on our cable and this is all silver which is actually nice. It's not black like most would prefer however it is nice that they did the silver and it goes all the way up into the motor itself so that's a nice feature. It doesn't just stop here goes all the way down. It features a three pin power connector and this can be plugged into your motherboard, fan controller, or the three pin to four pin adapter and then you can plug it into a Molex on your power supply and since it features a pass through you will still have that Molex connector. This is a very nice fan. I have owned several of these as well as the R4 series fans which flow 90 CFM. These fans flow 70 CFM. And they have four LEDs, one in each corner. Okay, now let me just hook the three pin up to a lead from my computer here. Directly from 12 volts. You know, if you can see what I mean by the way the LEDs are, they're real bright, but they only really put a lot of light onto the blades themselves. When you actually have this fan in a computer, especially if you have like a Silverstone fan filter over the top of it, it uh, and from the back you can barely see the LEDs even more. I'm not sure if you can even might be able to pick up this air coming off that fan. So it definitely flows a lot of air. It's very impressive. Flows every bit of 70 CFM and it really doesn't sound as loud as what it's rated at. Well, it's I think it's rated at 19 decibels. Let's check it out real quick. I didn't even look. Yeah, it's rated at 19 decibels, so I'd say it's a little bit more than 19 decibels. I'd say maybe I'm not a good decibel rater. I don't have a machine for it, but I'd say maybe 22 to 25 maybe at the most. I mean, it's very tolerable. Um, it's pretty much almost equal to the Zygmatek uh, 70 CFM 1800 RPM fans. I have a few of those. It's pretty similar to those. So actually, let me turn the if I get to stand up turn the light out for you guys so we'll see what this looks like in the dark give you guys a better idea there you go camera probably isn't picking that up very well and it actually does look a lot brighter in the camera than it is especially since it's just an open fan going to shine light everywhere but once it's in a case and it's enclosed 
it really just kind of gives a slight glow. Just to finish up guys, I wanted to say that this is a very good fan and I highly recommend it if you are looking for a case fan and you do not want to spend a whole lot of money. Uh, these fans are built nicely, they have great specs, they'll last a long time. Uh, the cable length is nice, it has that silver cable so it can easily still be sleeved. However, it gives you something a little different than the standard uh, multicolored or black sleeve cables like you see all the time, silver is kind of nice. LEDs are nice on the fan, they're very bright and once installed it gives a nice glow of whatever color the fan is that you're using. Uh, can easily be installed into almost any computer case that has room for a 120 millimeter fan and the power source can be uh, multiple things like I said it can be a motherboard fan controller or the adapter that is included and the screws are also included so basically this fan is good to go so I highly recommend this fan guys comes at a good price good specifications so if you're looking for a case fan and you want something that will perform well but you don't want to break the bank say you want to buy several of them but you still want to have money to buy something else well this is definitely a good case fan for you so I recommend you guys try them out you guys all have a great day and lots more videos to come